the economy is topic A as the presidential hopefuls continue to stake out their positions. From Washington, Whit Johnson has the day in politics. With historic swings on Wall Street, unemployment seemingly stuck above 9%, fear of another recession is growing. I think uh, clearly the risks are very high. People are extremely nervous. In an interview with Sunday Morning, President Obama admitted his re-election hinges on the economy. We've actually made the right decisions. Things would have been much worse had we not made those decisions. Uh, that's not that satisfying if you don't have a job right now. A recent Gallup poll shows only 11 percent of Americans say they're satisfied with the way the country is going. Republican presidential hopefuls are offering their own solutions. We're going to cut the taxes. We're going to lower the regulations. Texas Governor Rick Perry finished the week in South Carolina, as did Congresswoman Michelle Bachman, who raised eyebrows when she said this. Under President Bachman, you will see gasoline come down below $2 a gallon again. Prompting former Utah Governor John Huntsman to respond. We, we live in the real world. It's grounded in reality. Uh, and gas prices just aren't going to rebound like that. Billing himself as the lone moderate in a field of extreme candidates. This week, Perry, Bachman, and Mitt Romney solidified their spots as top contenders. But there are still rumblings about Sarah Palin. Let's do what we know America needs done who just released a new campaign-style ad. The schedule she's got next week in Iowa, it looks like that of a candidate, not a celebrity. The former Alaska governor is not a candidate yet, but she can still draw a crowd. Palin's Iowa Tea Party event, scheduled for September 3rd, has already been moved to a larger venue. Russ? Whit Johnson in Washington. Thanks.